Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Mutazir Mahdi. My NPM is 2019125006100 R75 class. Today I want to discuss about principle of language assessments. Before that, this video created for the final test language assessment. And the first topic is yes, the principle of language assessment divided by five parts. Particle, practically, practicality reliability, authenticity, validity, and respect. And the first one is practicality. Yes, practicality refers to the logical, down-to-earth administrative issues involved in making, giving, and scoring an assessment system. Yeah. Uh, the the um, effective is practical. This means that is is not excessively expensive, stays within appropriate time constraints, is rel relatively easy to administer, has a scoring procedure that is specific and time efficient, and the value and quality of the test sometimes is uh, such. Uh, mitigate practical considerations and the next is reliability reliable test is consistent and dependable uh, the issue of reliability of a test might be addressed by considering a number of factors that may contribute to the unreliability of tests yeah, the, com the most common level related issue in reality is caused by temporary illness, fatigue, a bad day, anxiety, and other physical or psychological factors. This may make an observed score deviate from once and true score. Okay, the next is the type of reliability is test status. Retest reliability parallel from reliability interrated reliability internal consistency and reliability. Okay, the next is validity. Validity refers to how well a test measures what it is reported proposed to reported to measure. Okay. Validity is the most complex criterion of an effective test and arguably the most important principle. A uh, valid test of reading ability actually measures reading uh, ability not 20 per 20 vision, not previous knowledge in the subject, not some other variable of questionable relevance. In other case, we may be concerned with, with how well a test determines whether or not students have reached an established set of goals or level of competence. Okay, the, and the next is type of validity. There is a content validity, criteria related, validity construct, validity constitutional, validity phase validity. Okay. The next is authenticity. Uh, out that is the fourth major principle of language testing is authenticity. A concept that is a little slippery to define, especially within the art and science of evaluating and designing tests. In the test authenticity may be present in the following ways. The language in the test is as natural as possible. Items are contextualized rather than isolated. Topics are meaningful for learners. Some thematic organization to item is provide such a true a story line or episode thus represents or close approximate reward task 
and the authenticity of the test task, test task in the recent years has increased noticeably. And Desmond and Palmer uh, also is the degree of correspondence of the characters of a uh, character of This is a for consuming item into valid test. And next is West Banks. The last one is West Banks. West Banks refer to the effect the test have an instruction in terms of how it should prepare for the test. Yeah, a facet of consequential validity discussed above is the effect of testing on teaching and learning in otherwise. Uh, non among language testing especially is Westbed. A large scale assessment Westbed generally refers to the effect the test have an instruction in terms of how students prepare for the test. Yeah, a little bit of Westbed may also help students through a specifications of the numerical scores on the various subs subsections of the test. A subsection on the test for tests, for example, that yields a relative low score may serve the diagnostic purpose of showing the student an area of challenge. That's all from uh, my explanations about principal language of assessment. Thank you for watching. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.